Pass me. Here's what we got. They've been to seven banks in total, as far away as North Carolina. They're laundering money through the cult for the cartel. That is three million dollars. I have seen a new heaven. I told him tonight. Better have your men ready. I love you, Ruth. Hmm. Okay, folks, so you saw part of the trailer for Ruthless. It's like, uh, what, two minutes long, so I can only show a small portion due to copyright. If I find it online, I will leave a link in the comment section below. Yeah, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll post the trailer on my Instagram page and put a link in the comment section, pin it to the top so you can watch the full trailer and then come back for the breakdown. So, yeah, I will be reviewing Ruthless. It is going to be a bit of a hassle, week one at least, because it's three episodes. So, I'll try to get everything out at once. But, um, there are some characters who I have no flipping idea who they are. So, if I seem to skip over them or not mention them by name, you know why. And I'm mostly talking about, like, the Rakadushi soldiers and then these white dudes out in the middle of the woods, everybody else, I kind of got an idea who they are. But the main gist of what's going on is that there's $3 million on the line and it's a race against the clock. Can Ruth and her team take this money from the cult before it goes to the cartel? Or before the FBI shows up, takes down this entire operation... And they take the money too. So the question is, what is going to happen? I have no idea. But to be honest, and maybe it's because we have to look at this show similar to Zatima. Because somebody told me that, hey, the writers, uh, the new writers are saying, like, don't compare these Zatima for te uh, sisters timelines. Because it'll just, like, ruin it. Because it doesn't make sense. I guess the same could be said about Ruthless. Because when you think about last season. When the highest Daikon and Elder Mother showed up to Richard and Nancy's house. And Nancy talked about how, oh yeah, I saw Callie playing outside. And I got to see Ruth and they're, and they're both doing well. It just kind of shows you that, okay, so obviously this plan doesn't work. Not to mention River. We saw River um, earlier this season in the Oval as well. So they're still there. So this plan obviously doesn't work. And then, of course, we saw Agent Desiree um, in uh, the Oval as well. I don't know if Cal is in Ruthless. He probably is. So does this make Ruthless redundant? Kind of, sort of. Not going to lie. But I'll review it because people want me to. So, we get the first scene and the last scene of the trailer focused on the highest in Roof, and they're talking. Roof, you are so beautiful, but love for me is dangerous. When I feel abandoned or betrayed, I've been known to kill. And then Roof is like, were you beginning to doubt me? And then the highest goes, or actually no, Roof continues. I would never abandon or betray you or even hurt you. I love you, Roof. And it's funny because Roof just goes, mmm. <laughs> so interestingly enough the whole betray thing is like we know that's a lie because we go over to the fbi uh station or the police station and desiree shown some files on uh joan and she gets a rundown that over half a dozen banks between where they're at in rockwell virginia and north carolina we got Joan, Daikon, the highest. They're just going from bank to bank. And then they pretty much put together, oh, okay, this is money laundering from the cult to the cartel, um, estimated around $3 million. We even get a scene of like Daikon and the highest counting money in the trailer. And it's just, like I said earlier, a race against the clock. You know, Roof is like, we need to be on high alert. And of course, it wouldn't be a roofless trailer without a few people getting slapped and or punched. And Elder Mother stepping to Roof is like, you are nothing. And then Roof just scowls back at her like, man, little woman, I ain't got time for your nonsense. But then River's like, you know, the FBI is going to take this money, but we can't let that happen. Roof said, who said I was going to let that happen? 
And she talks to this one dude. I have no, no idea who it is, but she does say like, you know, make sure your men are ready. And then we see that at some point, the highest has a gun to his head. So it's like deception in the ranks. I mean, we even see Matt pulling out a gun. It looks like he's shooting uh, one of the police officers at Conley's office because Conley's on the phone is like, I'm not going down for you. So he probably knows that with the FBI looking into the Rakadushi stuff, at some point, everything's going to fall apart. And it looks like this huge falling out. We got like Daikon running through the woods with a bunch of, you know, I guess Rakadushi members. We got a lot of standoffs. There are a lot of guns, people. Roof has a gun. Um, some other black guy has a gun on another guy. It's just crazy. And I think there's a little romance too. Joan and some dude making out in the car. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty weird. We get a moment where you look at Andrew when he's locked up. But, um, yeah, that, that's about it. I think that's about it. The trailer is pretty much, can they get the money and leave? No, they don't. They don't. They don't. Because if you watch the Oval, you know they don't. So, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the trailer breakdown for Season 4B. Episode 11, along with 12 and 13, will be coming to BET Plus on February 1st. And then I believe it's one episode a week after that. And that's about it. So uh, try to help this video grow. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment your thoughts. Fill in the blanks for me. You know, the characters I can't name. Uh, tell me in the comments, hey, Jeremy, that white guy is this person or... This Rakadushi soldier is that person just to kind of, you know, get me back into the flow of things. But I don't believe I saw Lacey or Zane in the trailer, assuming they're still alive. I don't think I saw Malcolm. Um, somebody told me Lynn got killed. Is Brian still alive? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, that's it. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.